Hello all, welcome back to Chaitanya Pixel YouTube channel. This is Mohan Reddy here. Today we are going to see the demo about a brand new Excel feature that is called Focus Cell, which is added newly into MS Excel by Microsoft. Let us dive in without any further delay and see how it can help us in various scenarios. Here I have the small data. To access the Focus Cell, go to View Ribbon. You can find it under Show Group, which is added newly here. Click on Focus Cell. What does this Focus Cell will do normally is, it highlights the entire row and column where the active cell is. The active cell means the currently which cell is selected on your sheet. Suppose if you move this active cell to another cell, it automatically identifies and highlights the entire respective row and column like this. You can also change the highlight color, go to focus cell and click on this little drop down and go to focus cell color and you can choose the color here. Whatever the color you choose, it highlights with a lighter shade of that the same color. Here I have selected the color which is a darker shade, but still it highlights with a lighter shade of the same color. Suppose if I go to another last color, purple. It highlights the same purple color with the lighter shade. So let me change back to green color. Here I have few cells highlighted with the blue background. Even if I select the background filled cells, it highlights the entire row and column and the active cell is still shows the same blue color, but other cells or slightly updating with the light green shade. Here I have applied the conditional format where the cell value is less than 250. I need to highlight those cells. When I have applied the conditional format also, if I select the same cell, the entire row and column is highlighted with the same lighter shade of the green color. At any point of time, if you want to turn off this focus cell, you need to go back to view ribbon and click on this cell, it will turn off the focus cell feature. Even if you turn off the focus cell feature, if you try to find any value, let's say I'm going to find 242, focus cell feature will automatically turn on and highlights the entire row and column of the current cell value. If I close my find dialog box, it automatically removes the focus cell feature. It's awesome. If you go to the focus cell feature, when you click on the drop down, you can see show auto highlight feature is enabled. If you turn off this feature, it will not go and highlight the value whenever you try to find. Suppose I'm going to find now with the 242, it finds the value from C8 cell and it is not highlighting the entire row and column because we have turned off that show auto highlight feature. So whenever you feel difficulty to access the focus cell by going to view ribbon and go to show group and click on the focus cell, instead of going like this, you can right click and add it to quick access toolbar. This feature will be available on top always. Suppose if I want to turn off the focus cell feature, I don't need to go through view ribbon and uh, show group and access the focus cell. Just turn off the focus cell feature from the quick access toolbar. It will turn off the feature. Or else there is another super cool way to access it. Right click and go to search on the top and just type focus cell. It will bring up the focus cell feature and just click on it it will highlight the entire row and column of the active cell. So this feature is currently in beta channel, it's not available for everyone, but soon it would be available for everyone using Excel with the Microsoft 365 Excel on the web and also Excel on the Mac. And that's it for Excel's focus cell feature. What do you think about it? Is this a feature you are excited to try? Let me know in the comments below how you are going to use this brand new feature. And if you find any other scenarios, please let me know in the same comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video to your friends and colleagues. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.